On a un besoin de, de stabilité et de retrouver ses racines. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new and today I think I'm going to make a video where I try to be a vegetarian for a week or however many days I'm going to be doing this video but yeah it was just a random thought so here we go um, it's currently already 2.16 p.m. and it is Monday but yeah it's not a great start to the day because I literally didn't eat anything but I usually do um, intermittent fasting not because like I try to but I usually just happen to not really eat early in the morning or super late and I basically do I searched it up and I think the way that I eat is usually by the 16 8 method which is basically okay let me read you the description it says the 16-8 method involves fasting every day for 14 to 16 hours and restricting your daily eating window to 8 to 10 hours. That sounds kind of intimidating, but honestly, it's basically just not eating like a late night snack after your dinner and just not eating super, super early, which is what I usually tend to do anyways. I usually eat around um, maybe 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. because I wake up pretty late, um, but then I try to restrict myself from eating super late at night because we all know that's not good for you so typically in a day i'll eat around from 10 a.m to 8 p.m anyways so that just naturally makes me do the 16 8 method so that's great but yes i'm getting kind of hungry so i think i'm gonna grab some food i think i might make some oatmeal so let's go all right so for monday's brunch slash brekkie we are going to have some oatmeal this is the way that i like to make it i just use one half cup of soy milk and then bring that to a boil and then stir the milk then I add the oatmeal inside the pot I actually like this way because it just makes it nice and warm so after I stir up the oatmeal I always like to add some almond butter to mine and then just stir that inside the bowl as well then I cut up some banana slices I love having my oatmeal with fruit because I think it just adds a sweet taste to it I put some slices bananas inside and then I also put some washed blueberries and that just adds a little kick to it as well which I love and then we also have some honey or you can use syrup or agave as well and then I like to top everything off with some cinnamon powder which I basically add to everything so that is our beautiful product Honestly, I don't like to have oatmeal too often, but when I do, it's a really hearty meal and really good. I also have some water as well. Then for a snack, I had this brownie slash cookie. Um, my sister likes to call it a crony that she made. There were some leftover cronies, so I just had one. It was super good, and of course, I had some milk because cookies and milk are the best duo. For dinner, my family had some spring rolls, so as you can see, all of the cut up veggies and this was not too hard to be vegetarian because obviously spring rolls can include meat, but you can also substitute it for just eggs or veggies, which is really good. So I just put some fresh lettuce in mine. This was actually grown in our backyard and we also had some carrots and cucumber and some bell peppers. I love bell peppers because they're so fresh and yeah they just taste really good i also added some glass noodles and some eggs and some peanut sauce and wrapped it all up and it was good to go i love spring rolls because i think they're just really summery slash springy hence the name spring and summer rolls but i also just love it because it's super filling and also really healthy because you're basically just eating rice paper with veggies Good morning, it is Tuesday and it is around 11.40 a.m. right now. I just worked out, showered, and did my cutie and I'm going to eat some yogurt. For when I'm feeling kind of lazy, I just use this Chobani Greek yogurt that's vanilla flavored, which already tastes really good on its own, but I also love to add some blueberries or whatever fruit I have because, you know, I just love having a lot of fruit for the summer. And yeah, it's just super delicious, super easy, and you can put any toppings. I added granola, chia seeds, coconut, honey. Yes. Thank you. 
So as you can see, I'm just having some tea. I like to do this when I feel a little bit stressed or overwhelmed with work or my thoughts or whatever. So I had tea with some cookies. These are so beautiful. They were actually handmade and gifted to me. And they were like sugar cookies with edible flowers on top and they were just so beautiful. So I arranged them and had a nice peaceful tea time. Hello guys, I just came back from working for a really long time. I've been reviewing and studying for my midterm, but it is around 1.40 right now and I'm just gonna have some tea as you guys saw. course i had to have my afternoon peach i love having peaches if you guys watch any of my what i eat in a week videos i just eat a lot of fruit in general which i think is just a healthier alternative to snacking on like chips or something like that so i've been trying to make it a habit so for dinner, I'm actually using this egg cooker that my friends got me for my birthday, a very practical thing. Um, so basically this egg cooker just makes whatever kind of eggs you want. You can make poached eggs, soft boiled eggs, hard boiled eggs. I decided to make mine soft boiled this time. I also use this avocado cutter that my friends also got me. It's very useful. It's basically just cutting an avocado but with one thing. And so yes, very practical. These eggs came out perfectly soft boiled so yes the egg cooker works very well it is from amazon if you guys were curious but i just made this bowl that has a lot of nutrients and is very filling i also added some sesame oil and some sesame seeds and look at this beautiful creation it is 6 20 and for dinner i'm having the avocado broccoli egg soy sauce bowl that you guys saw me make and this was inspired by jenim's brekkie bowl she usually eats like this and i tried it out and it's so good and ever since i always had it but i was so tempted because my family was having pork belly for dinner and it smelled so good but your girl is doing it for this video and you know this is a lot healthier so this is my dinner for today okay let's try a bite mm. this is so good you guys have to try this so beautiful <laughs> Okay, after dinner, I was watching a vlog from Gabby Cook and they were eating these really delicious looking bagels with avocado and cream cheese. So that inspired me to make my own the next morning. This is our finished product. I have some avocado on a bagel and then some cream cheese and then I top them all with some chili pepper flakes, some black pepper, and some everything but the bagel seasoning. And then I have some extra avocado over there and my water. So as a quick snack, I'm just going to have some apples with some peanut butter and almond butter and this is really good if you want to have a sweet snack but you also want to be a little healthier. So here I sliced up all the apples really thinly and into really cute little shapes and I put some peanut butter on some of them and some almond butter on some of them. I just spread it thinly onto the apples and this is a really great way to just have a really fresh but sweet snack that's also crispy and has texture to add a little more crisp i also put some granola on top and some ground cinnamon to just make it a little spicy you know and that is the finished product they are not only really cute to look at but also really delicious and filling and good for a sweet snack
While I was preparing dinner, I snacked on some strawberries which were super good and I am going to be making this organic soba which is basically a noodle that you dip into this kind of soy sauce and this organic soba was actually really good. I'm super glad I found this brand. So basically I just put some salt into some boiling water and this just helps to um, give it a little bit of taste. And then I put the noodles inside and cook for around 4 to 5 minutes. It looks like it's low key bursting but you can add some cold water in to make it calm down a little bit then you just wash with cold water and serve with eggs green onions or whatever else you want we also had a dipping sauce that i put some onions into as well i like having this cold and it's just super good with wasabi as well and yeah i had a super delicious meal and that is it for my dinner On Thursday, I had my midterm, so I was just getting some coffee in the morning and I like to add some oat creamer, French vanilla flavored. I like vanilla flavored things because it just adds a little bit of sweetness but not too much. So I like adding creamer into my coffee. I cannot drink black coffee, y'all. So I just had some coffee with the banana just to energize myself for my midterm. I was studying for my midterm with my coffee and then I got super nervous and you will see my face um, becoming nervous but basically I was just studying and then I took my midterm Hello! So I just finished my midterm. It was pretty stressful but we're done with it and I'm super hungry. It's like almost 3 p.m. so I'm gonna make myself an omelette. Let's go! This is super healthy but also really filling because of the, the egg protein. Yeah, it's actually not too hard being a vegetarian unless your family's eating pork belly at night. <laughs> Guess what I got for dinner, y'all? <laughs> So I ordered some Chipotle like I planned on because I just finished my midterm. It is a reward for my midterm. So I got a sofritas bowl which is vegetarian. It just has um, some sofritas which is like tofu and lettuce, corn, cheese. Thank goodness this is not a vegan challenge because I love my cheese. And I got some fajitas as well and a side of tortilla and some chips. Good. Hello guys, I forgot to end this video and I realized as I was editing, so this is editing grace, oh. but I just finished my Chipotle bowl that I had from yesterday and um, to review the week, I think that it was not too hard to be vegetarian for a week, which was pretty surprising. But yeah, I could not have gone vegan because I ate so many eggs and milk and stuff like that. But anyways, being vegetarian was actually not that bad. And I feel like I did 
like lose a little bit of weight so i recommend you guys try it out if you want and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye also if you stay till the end here is a sneak peek of what the next video is going to be my ipad pro just came so i'm going to do an unboxing of this very soon so stay tuned for next week bye